Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on a Fenty sunscreen. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I can create more contents like this. So I have here a sample site of Fenty sunscreen. This is the Hydrovisor Invisible Sunscreen. It is SPF 30 and it has three chemical sunscreens in here. It also has Kalahari Melon, Niacinamide, Hyaluronic Acid and Aloe. So all the ingredients sounds pretty good to me. And so I'm really excited to be using this. This is how my sample site model looks like. And this is how the texture looks like. So the formula blend out really fast, it's absorbed into my skin really fast as well. I'm going to apply one more layer to see if it's going to peel. And I really like this pink tinge color. Okay, so this is how my skin looks like. So it looks a little bit oily for me, but we'll see. I normally don't gravitate towards chemical sunscreens because they tend to burn my eyes. So I'm hoping the chemical sunscreens in this sunscreen do not irritate my eyes because I do like the other ingredients in this sunscreen. Um, the first one is the Kalahari Melon. It is rich in antioxidants. It helps to hydrate the skin. And the second ingredient is the Hyaluronic Acid. And I love Hyaluronic Acid because it helps water to stay in your skin. And so your skin will look very healthy, very sub very hydrated and then there's aloe I love aloe because it helps to soothe and calm the skin and there's niacinamide and niacinamide does everything for your skin it reduces oil production it also stimulates collagen production it evens out your skin tone so I actually use niacinamide every single day in my survey moisturizers I'm going to wear this sunscreen for the rest of the day and see how it does so it has been four hours and this is how my skin looks like Now my skin looks a little bit oily, but it's not as oily as I imagined that it would be. Um, so, so far I kind of like the sunscreen uh, because my eyes are not irritated. So I'm going to reapply the sunscreen to see because I'm going to wear it for another four hours. The sunscreen has a little bit of a fragrance. The first sunscreen is the Supergoop sunscreen. This one is the daily moisturizer. This sunscreen has all the chemical sunscreens and it irritates my eyes so much that I only did it for the review and after that I did not use it on my face. And it's invisible just like the uh, Fenty sunscreen. The second sunscreen is the Olay Regenerous sunscreen. This one is also invisible, also chemical sunscreen. Uh, but it irritates my eyes, so I only use the sunscreen for the review and then after that, I did not use the sunscreen on my face at all. And yeah, that's how it looks like. So in conclusion, this sunscreen is definitely too oily for me, but I think I'm still going to use it to layer on my other sunscreens. For instance, if I were to use my physical sunscreens, after two or three reapplication, it's going to start looking cakey. So I will have this sunscreen to kind of lay on top of my physical sunscreen. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below, because all that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more content 
contents. So I'll see you next time. Bye.